What's up YouTube world? I wanted to talk to you guys today about it doesn't matter where you came from. It doesn't matter uh, the, the success that you had in your previous career. It matters in what you do today and what you do in the future and how you move forward. There's great opportunity in every day because you're disciplined. You've decided to become disciplined. You decided to make goals, set goals, follow certain criteria that helps you achieve those goals on a daily basis, weekly, and so on. You, you become more disciplined. You become more sharp in your personality, in your dress, how you approach the situation, how you analyze something. Success is more than just the, the long journey that you chose when you became a business owner or whatever career you have decided. But I tend to talk about the lawn care business because that's what I've chosen. So let's talk about the lawn care business. So every day we're going to wake up, we're going to have our morning routine, get the coffee, get some uh, food to eat, uh, oatmeal or whatever it might be, um, some healthy, some fruit, uh, not too much bread. You, you don't want to have something heavy when you're starting your day. You want to have a, a healthy meal that gives you enough energy to get going and last you most of the morning until lunch. So whatever that might be it might be a cup a yogurt um, some honey with it um, whatever bottom line is whatever you do in the morning early morning is gonna most likely set the tone for the rest of your day so you don't want to just go about aimlessly waking rolling out of bed watching TV for too long before you step out the door to go uh, you know to the office answer the phones return calls all that you you want to have that down you want to be able to deliver on all of the things you said you could deliver on the previous day the previous week and so on so you already scheduled your day it's your um, opportunity to uh, make the best of the situation and uh, show them why they chose you versus uh, XYZ company down the road or across town. Um, they have an opportunity to choose anybody in the lawn care business. Uh, for example, today uh, I pulled up uh, at my customer's house with all my equipment and uh, neighbor lady comes out sees me says hey can you give me a price right on there you go it's not always going to be the person calling you five times to get you to come out to their house it's going to sometimes be the neighbor lady noticing that you're there on a regular basis that you take care of the property it looks um, like it should um, they don't get any complaints on that HOA. They don't, uh, nothing's overgrown or out of place. You do the right thing because you carry yourself like you have purpose, like you have a desire to show the world that you care about your work and you're moving ahead. And nothing's going to stop you unless you stop yourself. So stay focused, stay hungry. Um, always have uh, good always read good books to keep you uh, focused keep you uh, building your dream um, so you're moving ahead um, I know this is somewhat off the subject but for many people that grew up reading the Bible um, God created man 
he created Adam, the first, the first man. He had a purpose. And Adam found his purpose before he, uh, God created Eve. So I think the intent here is to say, as a man, we need to have our purpose, our stuff together before we go out and find a woman. Because the mom of the bride-to-be or the girlfriend you're dating or whatever, she's going to ask, does he have a good job? Does he do, do this? Does he have, you know... Women look at men and they want to see that you have your shit together. Um, so if you have purpose, a sense of direction, it's going to be harder for some people to not notice. And I think it's important to know that in chronological order, God created man for a reason. He didn't put man and woman together. It's written that way for a reason. Life happens for a reason. Women are turned off for reasons. You, you got to have your stuff in order. You can't go out and become a millionaire without, you know, learning to make dollars. Once you learn how to make, you know, ten, twenty dollars an hour, then you can figure out how to make a hundred dollars an hour. Or let's take a step back. Once you figure out how to make fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty dollars in a day, then your goal should be learn how to make a hundred dollars a day. Learn how to make a hundred and fifty dollars a day, and you want to make it consistently. So five days a week, okay, would be consistent, and you do that throughout the month. Then once you learn how to do that, you bump it up to 200, 300, and so on. And once you start hitting $900 a day, that's when you've made the million uh, dollar business level, pretty much. So if you're looking to be successful, if you're looking to be that millionaire, if you're looking to have that million dollar business, you got to start with the first step. And the first step is uh, planning your, or well, figuring out what your purpose is, your business, uh, how you're going to service your client, uh, have a sales process. Um, step one, two, three, and four. Uh, put them through that uh, sales funnel, the sales process as many times as possible. Uh, more people you talk to, more people you uh, put your name out there through different ways of advertising. I encourage you anywhere from five to seven ways of advertising at a minimum. So you can have door hangers, business cards, networking, SEO, uh, your online website, your signs on your truck, uh, name and uh, sh uniforms, and so on. Um, go out there and do golfing, uh, network, uh, put an ad out on um, fundraising uh, things for golf courses, um, for your local uh, charities, uh, fraternal organizations, um, church groups, uh, religious groups, civic groups, um, you name it. Uh, there's an opportunity to grow your business and uh, be more than where you were yesterday. If you want to get into bigger money, I would suggest uh, doing government work. Government work is going to allow you to make bigger, uh, big money consistently year round if you're in the mowing business because you're probably going to be doing uh, snow plowing during the winter. That's going to help. Uh, I don't know if you want to get commercial, but commercial work is uh, an opportunity for you to uh, grow your business as well. Residential and government work uh, is, a, is a good place to start. I would encourage you start with residential, uh, slide into government, then finally probably commercial. Um, residential will give you a regular paycheck. Government will give you uh, like commercial will. It's every 30 days or something like that. Um, I know for example one city uh, will have a um, 
minority owned business bid on the park and recreation. That's a contract that they only uh, bid out to minorities because there's so many bids. The city says uh, a percentage is going to be given out to minorities and the other to other business owners. Um, it's a million dollar business, or excuse me, it's a million dollar contract for the whole entire year, uh, meaning that for the mowing season. And so six to eight months, it's a million dollars. In order for you to get that money, you have to have enough money in the bank throughout the year. And once you make it through the year, you get that million dollars from the city. That's how it works. Uh, one of my friends worked for that company and uh, he wasn't a minority, but he worked for that company that was minority owned. And um, opportunities there, it doesn't really matter who you are. It's uh, what you believe, how you carry yourself, and uh, what you chase after. Um, always remember marketing and controlling your numbers is the way you're going to grow your business. It's, uh, it's going to take you to the next level. Um, with all that said, uh, thanks for listening. Subscribe, like, and uh, keep track. We're uh, always bringing new videos up. Thanks again.